Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So this is going to be for my Virgos in separation from their person. Now guys, this is going to be more for those that have separated recently. Let me just write this down. My bad, guys. Yeah, for those of you that are in separation from your person, let's see how your person is doing at this time. Again, these are general readings. They are not going to resonate for everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave with the rest, okay? All right. Thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings and for those who have donated to the channel. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys. All right, so give me some cards for... Virgo's person that they're in separation from. Well, that came out straight away. Courtship. Okay. So this may have been somebody that you were dating. This may be somebody who wants to reach out to you to kind of... Maybe somebody wants to take you on a date so that they can have a conversation. It almost feels like somebody wants to explain something to you, right? This man is holding this woman's hand and he does look sorry. He looks sincere, but she's turning away. Almost like she's not interested in what he has to say. Or she's very cautious, right? Very cautious in just 100% believing what this person has to say. Now, it all depends on what happened between you and this person, Virgo. Yeah, there's a communication. There's this message. For some of you, I'm getting this energy of somebody maybe writing out a message and even not sending it or deleting it or editing it, or but not sending it, right? So someone here could be very worried about what to say to you, Virgo, how to break the ice, right? Show me more about this person. Oh, okay. Great fortune. Okay, so they see that this relationship is, I want to say, worth fighting for with that great fortune. We will get some tarot cards to clarify. But this is how I feel. I'm also hearing something about the Midas touch. Give me two more cards. How's this person feeling without Virgo? Yeah, the house card. So for some of you, they want to come and visit you here. Um, can you want more? Now, there could be some issues over a home here. Is also what I'm hearing. Expectation. And at the bottom of the deck, we have bad health. For some of you, this may have been somebody that you were married to, right? Or this could have been a very long-term relationship. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. For some of you Virgos, I'm actually going to do a reading on that. For some of you Virgos, you may have been in a third party situation, right? And your person may be stuck in some kind of other situation where they're not happy here, right? Maybe this is why this you and their situation was only in the energy of maybe dating or things like that. Maybe you were just getting to know each other. I'm also hearing this wasn't supposed to happen. So what wasn't supposed to happen? Now, for some of you, this person may be thinking about coming towards you to give you some kind of a gift, right? Now, the gift card could also be that somebody here is handing you some kind of an apology. But for some of you, it may be something physical. For some of you, this person can't even work. I mean, they are probably are working here, but it, not that they can't work. They're probably finding it difficult to concentrate is the word that I want to use, right? With the despair and the toil and labour. Now, for some of you, this may have been somebody that you worked with, right? Or work with now. So it's sometimes that energy is like, you know, don't mix business and pleasure for some of you. Now, for some of you, maybe this person is watching you somehow, especially if you have some kind of a platform or something like that. You see, the difficulty here is, Virgos, with this person, it's almost like they would have to have some kind of transformation, right? With this mature woman coming out. I feel like it's very much representing your energy. Mature woman, mature man. It just shows a level of maturity. <laughs> I just feel like for some of you, you are too advanced for this person. Does that make sense? It's almost like they would have to meet you on your level. And for some of them, they may find that too difficult here with the imprisonment, right? And the coughing card. They would have to end certain things. They would have to leave certain situations people places 
So some of them are feeling trapped where they are. Some of them are finding it too difficult to make this transformation. Some of them are just finding it too difficult to leave behind certain behaviours and patterns that they've been, they've come and um, become accustomed to, right? Ways that they are used to. Some of them stay in situations because it's become, because they've become complacent, comfortable, maybe not happy, but it's comfortable, it's familiar. Now, for some of you, I'm not even going to lie, this may just be for one person. For someone here, um, there may have been a delay in terms of getting together. Maybe somebody is coming to the end of some kind of jail time with the coffin and the imprisonment card, right? Yeah, I don't know. Some of them may be stuck in a karmic situation here with a false person journey and a privileged lady. For some of them... Virgos, they made a wrong choice here between you and somebody else. Maybe they chose somebody who was more attractive. For some of you, these people, if you were in a third party situation, which I do see that a lot of you were, that situation that they were in may be coming to an end. All right, so let's get some cards. Let's get some tarot. How's Virgo's person feeling since the separation? What is the courtship card? Show me. What is the courtship card here for my Virgos? Coming out sideways. because Someone here didn't take control before. But it's coming out sideways, right? So this could be the energy of somebody who's very much thinking of taking control. Now with the courtship card, you have the emperor. Now, this could be somebody who owns their own business, right? Somebody who is a CEO or has some kind of status. I don't know why I'm hearing the law firm. So someone here could work as a lawyer or a solicitor or something like that. But you have the emperor coming out. So some of you could just be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus here. Show me more for the courtship. Show me more for the courtship card. Thank you. Too many, too many, Spirit. What is going on here? So we have quite a few coming out here. We've got the King of Wands in reverse. We've got the Two of Swords in reverse. Now with that bad health, somebody here may not be feeling stable. They may not be feeling motivated. They may not be feeling encouraged. The King of Wands in reverse to me usually is someone who is a player, usually a liar, a cheater. The Two of Swords in the upright talks about being at a crossroads. So this is someone who is not at a crossroads anymore. I feel like this is someone who, I don't know, they're not stuck anymore somehow, but they're in reverse. What's come out here? Yeah, look at this. The Four of Wands, the Six of Swords and the Justice. I feel like somebody here is walking away from a marriage here. Or like I said, someone they live with someone they've had a long relationship with, built some kind of foundation. The Six of Swords talks about moving to karma waters and the Justice card could represent divorce or a legal situation. But somebody here is not stable. Or they're just feeling down, they're feeling depleted. Let's put these back because that was way too many cards. Just give me two more cards for this Emperor. I just put them in the wrong way, let me see. Give me right. two cards for this emperor. How's Virgo's person feeling since they left? Show me. So for some of you, this person may even have left you and got married to somebody else. Look at this, since you left. Five of Wands, conflict, chaos, drama, fighting, arguments. Give me one more card the courtship thank you and yeah some of you are dealing with strong aries energy the emperor the fool we saw the king of wands now the fool card talks about somebody taking a leap of faith to go in a brand new direction 
So after some kind of chaos, drama or conflict, this person may be wanting to come back towards you here, Virgo. Someone may be actually finally standing up and taking control. Half of these cards are upside down, half of them ain't. Hold on, guys. I like to start my cards in the upright. If they're meant to flip, they will. Is that everything? Today. Right, is everything else in there? All right. There we go. So what is the five of wands? What is this five of wands for this person? The sun card. So is this about this person's happiness? Is this person having arguments in another situation? Do some of you have a child with this person? But I don't know if they're in another situation. It kind of seems like, I don't know, either this child is causing some arguments for the person that you have left behind and maybe somebody who they're with. Or this is about them trying to def um, figure out where it is that they're happy, right? What is the sun card? Leo energy. Because we saw that King of Wands in reverse, which could very well say that somebody there is not happy, right? The Sun card, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. So this person could even be in a whole other relationship and arguing about you, Virgo. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so that is going to be the truth for somebody here. The Chariot, the Five of Cups. See, some of you left this person behind and... It almost looks like they're crying over spilt milk, right? Some of them, they made a wrong choice. It is what it is. You made your bed, lie in it, that kind of energy. So what is the great fortune? Give me three cards. What is the great fortune? How's this person feeling? Since Virgo parted from them. See, for some of them, they feel like you glowed up somehow, some way since you left. Right? Things have been happening for you. For some of you, you have the justice card here, right? So even if things have turned out better for you, it's because of justice karmic here, right? This is good karmic that you are receiving, right? A lot of you, you're going to find that maybe you're going to get some kind of financial rewards, some financial blessings here with a great fortune. What is the justice card? For some of you, this is going to be via work. I just saw the three of pentacles. The page of wands, yeah, good news coming towards you here. Now this person is seeing you as good news, Virgo, right? For some of you, they may be wanting to come in and balance the scales here with the justice card, wanting to do things the right way, right? Um, you also have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck with the queen of swords. For some of you, they may want to come and propose something to you. This may even be somebody like wanting to move in with you. For some of you, this may be marriage, right? Knight of Cups at the bottom of, not at the bottom um, here, which talks about taking things to the next level. But the Queen of Swords is here. So almost like Virgos, you guys are in this energy where, yeah, look at that, the Two of Cups. You guys are in this energy where, do you know what? You deliver some kind of truth or I am not interested here. Now, for some of you, it's going to be that this person may be leaving behind an air sign, right? Four of Wands with the Queen of Swords. And trying to come to you, Virgos, two of cups. Now they choose you, but look at that, the seven of swords. There were some lies and deceptions for those of you um, that this is somebody from the past here. What's the seven of swords? Yeah, this is the kind of energy where somebody just wants to sweep something under the rug, right? Let's start again. Let's not talk about the past. Let's not talk about the things that I did wrong to you here, Virgo, right? We don't want to talk about that. But I feel like the universe is saying that that can't happen. It can't happen like that, right? The justice is here. Give me one more card for this great fortune. Thank you. Thank you. The Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups talks about somebody from your past. Now, for some of you, I'm also getting this energy here. I don't know who this is for. I feel like some of you may have lost something in the past or you'd had to sacrifice something here. I feel like the universe is coming back to give it to you. 
What is the house card? And I feel like it's going to leave this person in their head here with the Eight of Swords. Somebody here is in their head about something. Eight of Swords is a mental prison. The house card, the King of Swords. We just saw the Queen. Now the King of Swords talks about truth. It talks about it could be some kind of authority figure. What is the King of Swords? King of Swords is a very intelligent energy. I'm hearing you. <laughs> Why would I hear sharp as a button? I don't know. You have the Sun card. Again, it talks about happiness. It talks about things being revealed as well. This King of Swords, maybe there's some kind of truth coming towards you here, Virgos. Maybe to do with a house or about a home or somebody's living situation here. For some of you, not all of you, this may have something to do with a child. Look at that, the Knight of Swords rushing in with communication here. Give me a card for the King of Swords and the Sun card. There's going to be some truth that comes out about this past person. And this may be why they're trying to come towards you here. Maybe they're afraid of you finding something out here, Virgos. Give me a card, please. Look at that, King of Pentacles. What's behind that? The Ace of Cups. The strength card. All right, give me a card. Thank you, Spirit. For the King of Swords and the Sun card, why is it here for the house? How's this person feeling since Virgo has left? And as I say that, the Nine of Pentacles talks about somebody here being single, right? You could be very well single at this moment in time, Virgos. You have the Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. See, there was some kind of unwise choice here that somebody did. Now, it's also for some of you, this person may be wanting to come back towards you because they see you having some kind of victory. Now, maybe the victory in their eyes, right, Virgos, is just you being single, happy. This is um, self-sufficient, independent energy, right? The sun card talks about happiness. It talks about holding your own. You could be taking on this King of Swords energy here, right? Where you are just in this vibe where you're just kind of speaking the truth. You're being very direct and clear when it comes to communication here. Or somebody wants to come towards you and be very clear and direct. Again, it could be about this Five of Swords. Something that something was done that may have seemed, you know, I'm hearing who got the last laugh. That's what I'm hearing. So these could have been people that were laughing at you before, Virgo, right? Putting your name down. The Five of Swords could talk about gossip, malicious um, malicious gossip, right? Lies. But the universe is saying, who got the last laugh? Because somebody in some kind of a mental prison now or wrapped up in their own thoughts. This could represent jail. I'm not necessarily seeing the chariot out here. Five of Pentacles, yeah, someone's feeling left out in the cold. Look at that, somebody has had a tower moment. The tower represents things being ripped out from underneath you. It talks about abrupt endings. It talks about things just come crashing down by surprise. No warning. Ooh, the ending of things. Now, it could also be that this person may be very surprised that, hey, new things are happening for you, Virgo. Night of Wands. <laughs> It could be a fire sign that is going through some kind of turmoil, what we'll see. What is the expectation? How does this person feel since Virgo left the building, right? <laughs> since Virgo left the building, the Eight of Cups. <laughs> it was Virgo walking away from things that no longer serves them. That is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Now this could also be this person trying to come back towards you here. What's the Eight of Cups? But with that expectation, if that is even the case, some of you are kind of sitting back expecting this. The Six of Swords talks about moving to calmer waters. Also talks about being divinely guided here. Give me some two more cards for this expectation. Thank you, Spirit. The Three of Pentacles. See, this could be somebody coming toward you now, Virgo, right? Wanting to work with you, wanting to um, balance the scales, right? Wanting you to have patience with them. Wanting to turn over a new leaf. What's the Six of Swords? What's this? The Five of Cups. <laughs> because they're crying over spilt milk. 
because this is somebody having a pity party. Upset about how things turned out. But not acknowledging or accepting the part that they played in this, right? Five of Cups. I don't know, for someone, I feel like this is someone who may be, um, <clears throat> all right, let's look at, what's the marriage and the bad health? Someone who is upset that you're having some kind of victory here, Virgo, that you are being seen. And I'm hearing rightfully so. So what is the marriage and the bad health? How's this person feeling? Judgment, so they're facing their karma, yeah? Now, the judgment could also talk about reconciliation. This person may be in bad health, <laughs> wow, um, because they want to reconcile with you. The Nine of Wands, yeah, but they don't know if they have the strength to do this, right? The Nine of Wands is, I'm tired, boss. Again, they may be in some uh, relationship or with somebody else that is just stressing them the hell out here. If that is the case, this is somebody looking at that situation and saying, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Ten of Swords. Spirit says what goes around comes around. So if they are stuck in a situation, like I said, spirit called judgment on this. And then the Ten of Swords, it does also talk about here, Virgos, that you know what, for you guys, the worst is behind you, right? You guys are healed. And this person is feeling beat down. Stressed out, don't even know if they can get up. It's probably someone who sleeps a lot. I feel like this, for some of you, this other person may be in a, in a marriage or something like that. And I don't know if that's what they hid from you with the Hierophant here, right? Ten of Wands. Look, look, look at what they're in. Ten of Wands. Carrying all this baggage. Feeling weighed down. Feeling tired. I'm hearing for some of them, they're in a situation that is stagnant. It's not moving. I'm hearing the word chaotic. Dramatic. King of Wands. Yeah, for some of them, they, they thought it was fun to have you in a third party situation. They thought it was fun to be the Knight of Wands. In and out. Player energy. Spirit said, uh, okay. I'm just going to wait for that wheel to turn. <laughs> King and Queen of Wands, I see there. So with that wheel turning for one person, it turned in their favour. And for the other person, not so much. So let's get, what do I want? Do I even want to give this an ending card? No, I think I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> what goes around comes around, right? Just in different forms sometimes. So Virgo, that's all I have for you guys. Stay safe, love and light.